Welcome to the Daily Guidance Meditation Podcast with the Realized Master. These meditation talks were recorded during intensive spiritual retreats with Sadhguru Siriyaji. Therefore, they might contain some specific teachings and wisdom for life to be taken into consideration. Each recording begins with a mantra to bring you into a favorable condition for the inner journey. This initial mantra is followed by a brief talk in which the process of meditation is explained to you. After the talk, keep meditating at least for 15 minutes and if you like it, continue, increasing the time by and by as you proceed. So now you are left with nothing else to do but close your eyes, relax, Listen and let meditation happen. Satna. Satnam Satnam Radha so ami Radha so ami Radha so Radha so ami Siri vae guru Siri So, thanks to the <coughs> grace of uh, our beloved Gurus, Savan, Kapal, and Ajay, we are given again a chance to 
<coughs> dive deep within ourselves. We have these few days which we want to use fully to try to come in touch with the highest possible side of ourselves with the highest possible level of consciousness that we can reach and get the blessing, the grace that comes when we reach such a state. So that our life may acquire more meaning, more substance, And we may again experience what it means to have this divine perception or the perception of God which makes our life like a poem, like a song, gives harmony, gives beauty, gives love, sweetness to it. So, <clears throat> we want to use our time the best possible we can so that we may reach this highest level that we are capable of Because this is what really renews our life, makes it like a springtime again, and makes it beautiful. Life with this, it's, it's like a rose garden. Life without this, it's like a thorny bush. So, we want this rose garden. So we try our best to do lots of simran during the day. Keep our mind tuned in with the flow of grace. And when we come together for satsang, for bhajan singing, for meditation, we want to be very attentive, very focused, very present, very much in Surat, so that we may dive into the flow of Shabd and uh, get that intoxication, that ecstasy that comes along with it. So to begin with, let this meditation be a time in which we fully concentrate, we fully give ourselves. So for this we have to be well focused. We have to steadily look in the center and just keep looking with love and devotion we don't want to allow our mind to take us elsewhere we just want to be in Surat fully attentive and keep gazing looking in the center Moreover, we want to keep calling on Him with the most devotion. So we keep repeating the Simran with full longing, full yearning.
This is what makes meditation successful. When we are in full suited, well focused, when we keep calling on Him with love and devotion by repeating His holy names, we don't need anything else. This will uh, avoid our mind from wandering. This will allow the inner gate to open and we will be flooded with His presence, with His light, which will enlighten our being, will infuse into our body a sense of bliss, of Ananda, was they say, of joy and ecstasy. Let me come in touch with this presence, this light. That's the most holy moment. No way. So let's keep meditating like this by praying to your beloved Sadhgurus to please show the grace on us and bless us.